Hey guys, what's up? This is Blojos, and today I will be giving you a video review of uh, Stretchy Arm Attack Venom, or Stretch Strike Venom, sorry, from the Spider-Man line from Hasbro. So, uh, as you can see, I think every character in this line has this generic picture of Spider-Man up top there, and just uh, the figure in here, and just a little picture of the character there. Tells you which character it is and whatnot. On the back, there's just a big thing for him. It says stretchy arm attack, snap on attack arm, and all the different jazz. So, uh, little ads for the figures, just a bunch of stuff. Anyway, um, tells you what's included in the box J hook, whatever. Let's get on to the figure. And uh, unfortunately, guys, I don't have any HD video editing software. So, you're going to have to watch me open this figure and whatnot. Blech. Start off with the accessory here. Uh, it feels really weird, the rubber on here. Uh, also, I should mention, on the package, it is painted black and white, but uh, the accessory is no such thing. It is just straight up black, and it looks okay. It's kind of gray. It doesn't really match Venom. But, uh, is nice and just kind of popped in there and does he bend yes he does he bends he has ratchet joints at the elbows I'll just get him into a pose here where we can stand him up and review him oh and he has bendy knees excellent so uh, the only reason why I bought this figure is because there's no such thing as a uh, Marvel Universe Venom yet for some reason it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me why there wouldn't be a Marvel Universe Venom but uh, anyway this one has a pretty decent sculpt you know, I'll zoom in on the face there it's got a nice face sculpt mean old tongue there uh, there's uh, as you can see on his chest here there's a few paint mess ups there he's got a few dots from where they didn't paint him but overall the sculpt on this figure is pretty nice he uh... he's pretty awesome now uh... as you remember before i mentioned that he has ratchet joints uh... that's a little bit annoying right now i'm just gonna say uh, it's it's you know it does its job okay but it's just kinda really tight and hard to maneuver um, here maybe i'll start off with paint work uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, the thing, the the thing with this figure is though, is that he was sculpted in like this gray color, and then they have these purple sprays all over him, like purple metallic sprays, and it looks kind of okay, but at the same time, it looks a little weird. You can probably see where he's kind of shiny there and shiny in different places. And I already mentioned the um, the uh, spots on his chest there his face was painted okay there's a little bit of slop on the teeth and the eyes but uh... the tongue looks really great and uh... the inside of his mouth looks really decent so i'll just zoom out so for paint work i'd give him about a three out of five uh, on to articulation he does have a decent amount for a spider-man line figure he's got a uh... A ball or a head on a ball joint which uh, does have a decent amount of up and down movement and a pretty good range of side to side movement he's got uh, a ball jointed shoulder which can go out and rotate 360 degrees his elbows have these clicky ratchet joints that can bend and do swivel out and in and his legs are on a ball joint as well can go out although it's kind of tough to work with and his knees are also on a spinny ball joint like his elbows and so that's not too bad a few points that i think are really missed that are really missed here are uh, the ab crunch and the waist swivel as well as kind of like a a swivel joint at the wrist would be really nice so for articulation, I'd say 3 out of 5 again, just kind of, it's okay, but it's not over the top kind of stuff. 
And now for the accessory. Uh, to be honest, I probably will not use this at all. It'll probably either go in the garbage or in my spare action figure parts bin. Uh, simply because it is not really painted to match the figure. The uh, This part is sculpted to kind of match the, f the Venom's skin. But, oh, I guess there's also purple on this side, but that's kind of useless because this side has no purple whatsoever. You can kind of see it there. So, I don't know, overall this accessory really isn't that useful. I'll just clip it onto his hand here. I think it's probably going to take a little bit of work. We just kind of got to slide his wrist in there, and there you go. So yeah, it doesn't look bad, but it's just, you know, I don't know if any of you guys would remember that uh, Carnage figure, I believe it was, from the 90s. It may have even been a Venom figure, but he had this, like his other hand was like this head. It was supposed to look like he had like a second head or something. But uh, yeah, for the accessory, I'd probably give it like a 2 out of 5. Just kind of a terrible accessory that you won't use anyway, so whatever. So overall, I'd probably give this figure, mm, say a 3 out of 5. It does a decent job of kind of, you know, it'll fill in that space in your Marvel Universe collection. Just kind of sit on your shelf and look badass. He does have, like, he can you can get him into some pretty decent poses. And he's got, you know, his sculpt is really nice. He's got, like... You know, he's got his spine on the back here, you can see right through, and he's got all these cool little parts of the symbiote coming out of him. So he does have a really cool sculpt, but, uh, yeah, he's just, you know, he's not a Marvel Universe figure, so he doesn't have very great articulation, and uh, he's just not done to the level of awesomeness that those figures are. So overall, I'd give this figure a 3 out of 5. It uh, does the job in your collection and it looks great so uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them there as whatever yeah <laughs> please rate subscribe and uh, yeah talk to you later guys have a great day keep collecting whatever it is you collect bye bye